I had a heroin addict roommate one time, probably one of the best roommates, just some rich kid addicted to heroin, you know, never really saw him. He was just in his room all the time. I'd have to remind him that the rent was due, but he always had it. One time I time traveled on him. Nothing better than time traveling on a heroin addict. I was sitting on the couch. It was probably like 11 p.m. And I was like, Shit, if I don't do laundry now, I'm not going to have it done in time for tomorrow morning. And right as I got up to go get my laundry, he comes out with his laundry basket. And I'm just like, bro. I got to stay up super late, wait for him, you know, to finish up. And then he just nods off with the laundry basket. Just, and then I was like, now's my chance. And I just ran into my room, grabbed my laundry, put it in and then sat back on the couch. And by the time he came back to like a zombie, he went into the laundry room and he's like, Oh, you're doing laundry. And I'm like, yeah, it was like, click. I just paused him, <laughs> went and did my laundry. And then it was pretty funny, dude. The worst part about living with a heroin addict, though, is they'll eat all your food, and then when you go to confront them, uh, they're dead. Like, hey, did you eat all my chips and guac? Oh, you're dead. Then you got to call their parents. Hey, uh, I just want to let you know your son ate all my chips and guac. And they're like, you're an adult. Why are you calling us? Go tell him. And I'm like, oh, well, that's also why I'm calling.